Welcome to Controversies of the Day with Logan. And Jay. Well, it, it, Logan, uh, I don't know. You know, it's so funny how it's like the collective unconscious, man. Things keep coming. We talk about Kennedys here. We reference things that have to do with Kansas for some reason. We're not coming here from Kansas. And Rob Reiner keeps coming up. I don't know. We're talking about Wolf of Wall Street. He's got a little part in that. One time that we're talking about a podcast he was doing about the, the, the Kennedy assassination. Kennedys keep coming up on the show, too. I don't know what it's about. There's something floating in the air. Anyway, Rob Reiner back in our faces again. He's got a little documentary. Let's take a look at this preview, buddy. America and Christianity are like baseball and apple pie, and we celebrate them together. I was 16, 17 years old when I became a Christian. I'm an evangelical minister. I've been a Christian my whole life. I'm a Christian nationalist. I have nothing to be ashamed of because that's what most Americans are. Is Christian oh, nationalism okay. Christian? Um, no, it isn't. We should be blazing forth as a countercultural example, and instead, we're leading the charge of malice and division. Christian nationalism <laughs> uses Christianity. All right, how how are we leading? How are we leading a malice? If, if, if we were Christians, how are we? How? What charge are we leading? Malice and division. What the how hell are you talking about, guy? What how the was religion? Hell are you talking about? All right. Out of all the oh. decisive shit we've had in this country with, oh my with po 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 anything political, when has religion ever come up in the past? Three cycles, four cycles. When's religion ever popped up? It's always been black on white. It's always been left and right. It's ne when has it ever been religion? And now all of a sudden we're going to have this out. Well, most about economic too. I mean, most yeah, elections yeah. are, you know, how's your pocketbook, pocketbook doing? You know, that that's had a lot to taxes do with taxes and all yeah, taxes. Of, exactly. How, how is religion all of a sudden this major upheaval that I've never heard of outside of what he's telling me right now? It's insane. Christianity is a means to an end. That end being some form of authoritarianism. Being a Christian is about the values of inclusion. Christian nationalism is certainly not based on the values of the gospel. God wants America to be saved. They're told over and over and over again that you're in danger. You need to fight if you don't want to lose your country. We are in a civil war between good and evil. This is not a movement about Christian values. This is about Christian power. What happens to the people who don't believe this stuff? We are on the precipice. God is on our side! We're taking our nation back! The thing that keeps me up at night is that we lose democracy. Does that seem possible? Yes. Christianity at its best. Okay, so they just show footage from the January 6th riots. What's that have to do with Christians? Nationalism, maybe, but Christians. So why are you using footage that had nothing to do with Christian anything? You wanted to say it was all about insurrection. So is it about what? So now Christians are trying to take over the country? It, it just, it, yeah. The, the the factions of the left have, have done this for a long time. Uh, there was a lot of concern about you know Christian conservatism in the Republican Party in the '90s. There was a lot of a lot of talk there, a lot of concern well look folks you know uh, as we talked before uh pat robertson did win the iowa uh, primary in 1988 okay but he didn't go any farther than that you know so there's only the, the this is all blown out of proportion this is all cherry picked this is all skewed I don't because even, they have an agenda here i don't even really see the left looking at this and being like mm, yeah i mean you, you you're, you're you're basically saying christians are the KKK were racist. It, and again, you know, we just had a black again, president, folks, and a black vice president, yeah. some of the richest, most yeah. powerful people in this country yeah. happen to be fucking black. Yeah, Oprah, you heard of a guy named LeBron Rock. James. Yeah, you, heard, you, heard, uh, you heard of a, a little girl from, uh, I don't know if she came from Wisconsin or from Memphis, Tennessee, named Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. Uh, you ever heard of these people? So we're a racist country because <laughs> of religion. But yet the majority of this country is Christian, which isn't just all white people. So 
why don't we talk about the black Christians in this? Are they also white nat- or <laughs> nationalists, I guess, Christian nationalists? Sure, got a lot of black people on there saying that this that this stuff in your little trailers. So, I, I I don't get it. So their religion is different from our religion. I I, I don't. They're, they're they're trying to cherry pick. Yeah, and I don't and see a direct argument. And they're they're trying they're trying to divide people. And then this is all the left. This is their whole goal. Let's, we'll finish it here. We'll come back. It's just. Yes. It's committed to love and truth and justice. If we do this right, what a country we will be. So is it, <laughs> what are, I, I, again, I don't understand what the argument is here. Is it just white Christians that are the problem? Because at the end of that, I made to see, well, if we do it right, you know, and it's, ends on like this cheery note that we country could be great so is god good for the country just not white god i mean i don't get the nationalist part of it it they are propaganda. trying to be they, this is propaganda they're trying to be divisive rob reiner you you really shame on you shame on you rob reiner you you really should know better and i, I think his wife I, don't know, I thought it was his daughter i think his wife michelle and his dan partland or parkland or whatever your name is i mean you, you, you guys come on Come on, Rob Reiner. You, you've done some good stuff. You know, I like when Harry met Sally. You know, A Few Good Men wasn't too bad. Oh, and who is in A Few Good Men? One of your favorites, Tom Cruise, who believes in Scientology, okay? That's his religious belief. I mean, there he was, you know, and Matt Lauer, and you know, arguing with Matt Lauer. And Matt Lauer, you could suck it, okay? That's what Will Ferrell said to you in Land of the Lost, and you can't suck it. And it was a beautiful moment. When, when him and uh, uh, Tom Cruise got into that, you remember that? Uh, what the vaccine or the? No, this is way. It was a while back. Uh, was it at least 10, 15 years ago? About what? Him and Matt Lauer. I don't know. About got, what? I think about Scientology. <laughs> I remember maybe, seeing an interview with Matt Lauer talking about drugs or prescription medication. Maybe that. Like maybe that. that was it. I'm trying to remember. It was, it was all he, connected he, to Scientology, though. I mean, I mean, that's that's what Cruise kept coming back to. My point is. You work with someone who has a belief that, that it's not a part of mainstream, you know, American religious beliefs. Okay, that's the that's my point. Did 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 that stop Christian nationalists from going to see him? Oh no, he's Scientologist. We can't go see your movie. You kidding me? Everybody showed up to the the number one gay movie a couple of years ago, Top Gun Maverick. Oh, it wasn't it wasn't a gay movie. Are we, are we sure about that? Okay, all right. But the point is. America loves, you know, if you've got a good, you got a service, you got a talent, America is going to be there. And this is the land of opportunity. And you can express yourself in so many different ways, whether you believe in a religion, you don't believe in a religion. Nobody's going around to these atheists putting a gun in the back. You believe in Jesus Christ. Say Jesus Christ, you Savior. Ah! This, this is not happening. You're a liar. You're a weird left wing liar that you, you're trying to divide people. It's a campaign year, an election year. Here we go. Hmm. Drive me nuts. And here, you know, here's Rob Reiner, very successful guy. His dad was a legendary Hollywood guy, Carl, Carl Reiner. And, and Carl Reiner had something to do with uh, the, the, uh, the Dick Van Dyke show. It was a big hit show. I don't know if you ever saw reruns as a kid. You know, Dick would come home from work and he'd trip over the, the hassock or the futon thing. And uh, the wife, her character was uh, Laura, Laura Petrie, and she always had these tight black capris on. <laughs> Anyway, Mary Tyler Moore is the actress, and uh, as a little brat, little hormonal little brat, he would go on the set. He he pinch her took us. Yeah, you did that, Rob. You, Rob Reiner. Yeah, you perv. Anyway, uh, you know, and he's you know been very successful. You know, again, the part of the Lucky Sperm Club. Albert Brooks found you in high school. You became best friends. There's a guy who has real comedic talent. There's a real talented guy. Anyway, it's coming out. So the indirectly, we're giving the guy, we're giving the guy a little plug. So you know. Anyway, Rob, I might, I might watch this. I'm not going to pay for it, but uh, I don't know. I, yeah, I think thumbs down too. I think Rob, you could do a whole lot better. And Rob, I'll give you a chance. I'll give you and this Dan Parkland and Michelle, your wife, whatever, a chance to redeem yourselves. You know what? Why don't you do a documentary about Willie Wilson? Okay, there's a Chicago businessman. Great, a mayor I can story. Okay, that that's your homework, and maybe a documentary about Dan Pena also. While while we're at it, okay, a couple great Americans, a couple great stories. There you go. There's your there's your Christian nationalism for you. Okay, shame on you. <laughs>